the new Llama 3.3 shocks the world of artificial intelligence and crushes OpenAI's GPT-4 at almost no cost. Guys, have you ever thought about the impact of an artificial intelligence that can deliver exceptional performance with an incredibly low operational cost? What does this mean for sectors like software, development, or even virtual reality? In today's video, we'll explore the details of Meta's Llama 3.3, Zuckerberg's latest model that's transforming the tech landscape. Throughout this analysis, we will address the innovations that make this model so unique, and we will reflect on what it holds for the future of artificial intelligence. So stay with me until the end of the video. To begin with, you already know, comment below. Do you believe that access to artificial intelligence should be universal? Or are we going to need to create more barriers to regulate their use? I really want to know your opinion, so go ahead, leave your comment down below. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in your WhatsApp and Telegram groups. So the people you care about can stay updated on this topic. Agreed, let's continue. Meta just launched Llama 3.3 and brought some impressive surprises. Imagine an AI model that uses only a fraction of the resources of its predecessor, but delivers almost the same performance. This is what we're talking about. Lower cost as demand for GPUs and a huge potential to transform everything from everyday tools to immersive virtual reality worlds. And there's more. I'm going to be amazed at what this new version can do. It's a step forward that could completely change game in the tech world. Llama 3.3 is Meta's new language model. 70 billion parameters. That sounds like a lot and really is. But what's impressive is that it achieves performance close to the previous model, Llama 3.1, which had 405 billion parameters, which had 405 billion parameters. It is from the corruption of genomic ocean is it's like having a sports car that's almost as fast as the luxury model but with much more efficient fuel consumption and space. This level of efficiency makes Llama an incredible solution for a variety of applications from virtual assistants to data analysis tools. This simplicity and efficiency make the model accessible not just for large corporations, but also for small developers. It's no wonder that Mark Zuckerberg called Llama the most adopted AI model in the world. There were over 650 million downloads, developers building projects based on these open source AI protocols. And open source is a key strategy here. By allowing others to build on Llama, Meta positions itself as the foundation for countless artificial intelligence initiatives. The more people use these tools, more Meta solidifies its position as essential infrastructure in the market. This also gives the company a central role in developing future solutions, expanding its influence, and allowing new ideas to flourish. But it's not just in AI that they're investing. The expansion into virtual reality tools is also in full swing, including plans for a new AI data center in Lusitania and a submarine cable project to support all of this. These advancements reinforce Meta's strategy to be a pillar in both AI and global digital infrastructure. With these projects, the company aims to connect its AI advancements with other emerging technologies, creating an ecosystem that is both efficient and accessible. From a technical standpoint, Llama 3.3 supports English, Portuguese, Spanish, and several other languages with massive training of 15 trillion tokens, a huge leap from the 2 trillion of Llama this significant increase in the volume of training data results in a model that performs tasks much more efficiently and accurately. It also handles extremely long context, being able to process documents the size of a book with 128,000 tokens. This makes it ideal for tasks like problem solving, code benchmarks, and reasoning. In practice, this means you can use it in complex applications like summarizing lengthy documents, providing personalized customer assistance, or even developing AI-based educational solutions. One interesting detail is the efficiency. With technologies like grounded carry attention, it uses less memory and generates results faster. This efficiency also translates into savings. The cost to produce text is incredibly low, around one cent per million tokens, which is a very 
cheap compared to competitors like OpenAI's GPT-4. For companies that rely on AI at scale, its cost difference can represent millions in savings. This means that even startups can compete technically with large corporations, leveraging the advantages of Llama 3.3. But not everything is uh, completely open. Although it's free for many, organizations with over 700 million monthly active users need a commercial license from Meta. There are also rules to prevent harmful uses, like generating dangerous content or violating laws. To ensure safety, Beta invested in adjustments with human feedback and implemented tools like LlamaGuard to prevent problematic outcomes. This commitment to safety helps prevent the technology from being used irresponsibly, protecting both developers and end users. This combination of accessibility and responsibility positions Llama as one of the most interesting models for mass adoption. From an environmental standpoint, Meta trained Llama 3.3 using renewable energy, reducing the impact of 39.3 million GPU hours to zero emissions. This shows a commitment to more sustainable solutions in the development of massive AI models. In benchmarks, the model achieves impressive results, outperforming competitors in various areas, such as multilingual reasoning and math tasks. For example, it delivers results almost as good as the biggest models in coding, but with a fraction of the required resources. This makes it just a smart choice, but also a conscious option for developers who care about sustainability. For developers, model is available on platforms like Hugging Face and GitHub and can be integrated with popular tools like LangChain. It's also compatible with major cloud providers like AWS and Azure, allowing for custom adjustments for specific applications. This flexibility allows both small and large companies to take advantage of Llama for a wide range of use cases from personal assistance to predictive analytics. With the support of these tools, integrating Llama into existing systems becomes simple and efficient. What does this mean for the future? Meta is laying the groundwork for AI and virtual reality to blend naturally, creating a new era of digital interactions. Advancements in AI and VR lol can transform the way we work, connect, and have fun. This convergence of technologies suggests that we are entering an era of limitless possibilities where innovative solutions can redefine our standards of living and working. The question remains how developers will use these tools and what this will bring to our daily lives. And now, I want to hear from you. Do you believe that Llama could be the future of AI? Do you think this use should be universal? Should it be regulated? This video doesn't end now. It continues with us chatting in the comments. If you find this video interesting, like it, share it, and subscribe.